thing? No, I haven't. It's in my bag. <laughs> what a team. I forget and you remember. <laughs> Laurie is not America's beloved actress anymore, but an ex-convict. She was all over the news after she was found guilty in the 2019 college admission scandal. She and her husband confessed to committing some heinous crimes, and they paid for it. Allegedly paying a half a million dollars in bribes and fees to get their two daughters admitted into the University of Southern California by having them pose as elite athletes. So because of the scandal and the hate that came with it from the public, she took a step back from, scre from the screens only to return a year later for the spin-off to When Calls the Heart. She did it. <laughs> Shame on you, Michelle. Hollywood heartthrob John Stemos also faced the wrath of the law in 2015 when he was arrested and sentenced to three years of probation. Back in June, Stemos was arrested and cited for driving under the influence after the Beverly Hills Police Department received numerous calls reporting a suspicious driver. But all that drama is in the past now and our star is back on our screens and doing so great at his job. He is also doing very well family-wise as he married his sweetheart in 2018 and they welcomed their beautiful baby boy. Don't hate me because I am beautiful. Bob Saget died. The news of his death left many of his fans and castmates from Full House devastated. This moment right here, always keep that person alive somehow and and that's what we're doing and i think through grief that's a really important thing to remember is to 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 keep them alive. he died on 9th january 2022 in a hotel in orlando and authorities ruled that his untimely death was due to blunted trauma he left a wife kelly rizo whom he married in 2018 and three adult children from his past marriage Jodie Sweetin became a method after the sitcom ended. She went from the people's sweetheart to a drug addict in 1995. I was doing cocaine and ecstasy and, you know, alcohol and all of that. And she was in that hall for 13 years. Do not worry though, Jodie is still doing great as an actress and she has appeared in quite a number of productions. She also got married in 2022 and she is a mother of two now. The cookie accidentally dropped in the bag. Go find it. Cameron Candace stepped away from acting to become a stay-home mother. One year after the sitcom ended, 19-year-old Cameron got married to a hockey player named Valerie Bure, and in 1998, they welcomed their first child. Now, the years that followed, they welcomed more children, and that is why she did not go back to acting. She is now back on our screens, and she is also serving as the chief creative officer for the Greatest American Family Network. Hey, that's my face. You <laughs> Jamie. The Austin twins exited the acting world. Why? Because they lost passion for it. But that did not just happen after Full House. If you recall, they went on to release a number of successful movies, star in more TV shows, until later when they launched their own company, Dual Star, which they took over as joint CEOs in 2004. Gradually, they exited the acting world. They went on to lead normal lives. For example, Mary Kate got married to a French banker in 2015 and they lived a quiet life away from Hollywood noise but that did not stop her marriage from failing in 2020 she filed for a divorce Ashley on the other hand was still single then but she also got married in 2022 and she is still together she is still with her husband so the big question from fans about this twin has always been how do they make money now the twins are millionaires and they make money from their fashion line called the row which is estimated to be generating between 100 and 200 million US dollars a year in sales. Hey, Twinsters. Why do we look the same? Well, because uh, you're cousins. Dave also became a drug addict. Now, his problem wasn't as big as Jody Sweeten's or John Stemos's, but it was also big and it did him dirty. He was a drunk at who unintentionally had started hurting himself, as seen in this, po in this photo. So in 2020, he said, enough is enough, and he quit. He is still acting, but not as much as most of his co-stars. He focused his talent into voice acting and stand-up comedy. In 2014, he got married to his 
darling wife Melissa Bring with most of his full house co-stars by his side. Finally finished. Hey Siegfried, where's Roy? Andrea Barber took a break from acting right after the sitcom ended. During that break, she did many great things, such as graduating from college, earning an MA in Women's Studies from University of York, getting married and giving birth to her two children. We saw her return to our screens when she reprised her role in Fuller House. She is now working with Jodie, Ta with Jodie on their new podcast, which they named How Road. Twins Blake and Dylan have only acted in Fuller House since Full House ended. It looks like they quit acting and are now into production, uh, sound production and they have worked in the sound departments of such shows as Game of Thrones, Black Sail, FBI, EDC.